like do some crazy stuff. Three, two, Last time I fought Ed's all he went DK. I'm just like, I hate this character. <laughs> I don't like DK. Anyways, oh, okay. we, we have, have no we have no DK on the screen. We have Ace and Omsless. Yeah, Omsless. Oh, this is X. Okay, we got a, a new uh, per, uh, persona non grata here. Yeah, Ace is retired. We have a new uh, out of the fire has been birthed a new player. Yeah. No, I'm like because it won't stay. But yeah, so uh, right now we have. The Byleth. I'm interested in seeing how this goes out. Uh, my friend Multi is also playing all Byleth, so you'll have to see. Um, other than that, right now with a kind of a lead, Obelisk has to find uh, something to do. Oh my god, he actually just landed right on his shield with there. I mean, with how powerful that downer is, yeah, you would think you'd be able to get out of shield with that, but that thing is strong. On it is shield. strong and it is laggy. Oh, they traded. That's 15 damage. But uh, as, I've, uh, as I was ah! as I was okay. mentioning uh, off stream real quick, uh, random off stream update. Uh, Ed's all is 1 0 on uh, Jama right now. Nice, nice. Yeah. So I can follow on the bracket if yeah. I need to. Oh no! Ooh. First up goes to Oblis for the classic. Get the classic with... fire into uh, F smash. Yeah, get him with the classic Belmont stop sign. Did he really? The downer didn't kill it that percent. Wow. The angle on it is actually kind of bad, but it is a very strong move. No kill throws. Back throw will eventually kill. But oh, he can snipe him though with the fell knot. Nice. Both these characters have similar nares actually, funny enough. But I'm pretty sure Belmont's is slightly better. Oh, oh. jumps into the axe. Yeah. And a conversion. That's pretty nice for from uh ex from <laughs> um obelisk. Alright, here we have it. Mm, back here. Back here. Still out here. I love that the uh, side B actually catches ledge. So yeah, he can clear the ledge in a big way for himself. Ooh, not able to get off this ledge pressure. Has to be careful. Yeah, didn't want to finish the jab. Yeah. Honestly, he could have jumped away instead of uh, going for the shield. But just in, just in general, that side B on uh, Byleth is actually really good at just keeping your opponents away from you. Like oh, once again, but uh, mm. that time Obelisk wasn't ready for it. He didn't think it actually worked. No, he didn't think it would at all. He thought he would roll away from it like he did the last time. Yeah. Oh, gotta let go. All right. Good. Oh, oh. gets in, but uh, uh, thought he had to spot dodge the cross and didn't doesn't make it uh doesn't quite make it in. He almost made it faster too. He almost made it faster again. All right, off the parry. And oh, he does. Yeah, got hit by the ass again. I don't know what she said there. I can I can never. I don't quite understand Byless when she's flying off the stage. I know she says not my best in one of them. Oh god, here we go. It's not, it's, it sounded something like I hope you forgive me. Oh yeah. Huh. The five the the fire little characters are so polite. <laughs> I I had a real bad feeling about that uh, set of ob obelisk was going for. I I definitely saw an at I definitely saw a cross. Excuse me. Oh no. Into down air. He really believed. Oh god. So much damage being thrown on him. He has to be careful here. Yeah. Definitely uh, don't want to call your. Do not corner yourself versus Belmont, especially as a Byleth. Byleth, not the best uh, corner options at a wall. Like, a lot of range, but definitely a yeah. slow amount. Slow of character, frame data, not amazing. Yeah, so, oh. yeah, so Belmont's in a yeah. corner. We'll take advantage of that any day. Oh, God, he has to be so careful. Like, he needs to take the stock, and I'm surprised we have not seen much edge guards, because that side B, if you catch somebody off stage, like... If they ever ever have to jump or air dodge against you, they're actually just already dead. Like here, you should just be able to go off and oh, sneaks underneath him. That's pretty pretty nice from uh, Obelisk. And here we have it. Or tilt or back air too. The, yeah. Whoa. The distance demon uh been beaten out by a whip. Truly, he's a, he's a distance lord. Honestly, he's a. <laughs> like, I mean, I mean to be fair, listen up. You call the nickname Distance Demon, right? And you know what Simon Belmont slays, right? Demons. <laughs> You're right. Gotta slay the demon. Truly. Shows him the true power of that range. Show him the whole show him the power of the Holy Christ. Yeah, so we'll have to see how this goes from here. Simon. Um Distance Angel. <laughs> Distance Angel. Simon is no angel. No. Alright, we're gonna go Corrin. back to the right. corn. I like this actually. Yeah. Uh, so I have a friend who uh, actually just played in the mentions uh, just in the chat who plays this character 
And of course, all the corn mains have to at least try Byleth. It's by law. Because, like, Fire if Emblem. you. Yeah. Well, mostly, if you picked up the Fire Emblem character that was really unpopular at the end of Smash 4, then you might as well try the new Fire Emblem character in uh, Smash Ultimate, you know? I can definitely tell you that. Uh, Corrin is not, not a good character. <laughs> Corrin is um, very slow. Her range, while good, is not the best. Oh, and then God. her neutral option is just in general. With the pin pretty much just gone and not as privileged as it was in Smash 4, it definitely gets her punished way more if you're not careful with it. Yeah. And then off stage, sometimes Corrin's can feel like Little Mac because all you have to do, if you take them out of a jump and you snipe the recovery once, that up B, it can go far in a vertical direction. But Ooh. if you're talking about like a horizontal direction, after it gets to the climax of the recovery, that distance just turns into Smash 4 Zelda drift. That you're going nowhere. Yeah, it's definitely like you, uh, like sex kicks are a problem. If you can just stick out a hitbox, it's a problem. But right now, Ace trying to get off this ledge. And unfortunately for Obelisk, he throws the ax in the wrong direction. Yeah, and right there, as I was mentioning, uh, pin. Uh, sometimes it'll, sometimes people will actually fall out of uh, pin, which is exactly what happened to Obelisk. And um, it was a nice catch on the jump. Yeah, well, if you ever shield an F tilt, it's the it feels the worst feeling ever, because then Belmont's still at a perfect range to F tilt you again, or he'll uh, can catch a jump like that. And that was pretty nice of uh, from Obelisk. Oh, I definitely. Oh, saw the, the charge F smash. Yeah. I saw the setup there again from the Belmont. Oh, that no jump. All right. Again, yeah. good uh, vertical range on that recovery. Unfortunate. He's gonna have to uh, come up with a new game plan against uh, Belmont. Like. The zoner uh, is actually pretty strong in neutral, but you have to find a uh, your out. And like usually you can see a pattern. Ooh, and you have to get every punish opportunity. That was a big punish opportunity there. Yeah, Corrin has to take every punish she can because that was with, pretty nice. Got yeah. the fair to up air. But yeah, Corrin, um, you would think, and usually a lot of swords do all right versus zoners because of their massive disjoints that they usually have with the sword Ooh. and it's just like hey i'm poking into your space and it made zoners feel generally uncomfortable corn though with her with her slow like with how slow she is and then her swords while being Ooh. disjointed not being too much of a factor because of how little range they actually can cover it's like oh no yeah unfortunate the yeah cross gets him out of there like no punish uh, oh no he Ace is like, or X is trying to set up these situations, but he's not taking full advantage. Yeah. Oh, that almost was it. Yeah, that was a, yeah, that was a good uh, conversion by Ace. Uh, the back hit of up air can convert into a lot more light, but it's only the back hit of up air. If you try to use the uh, first hit of up air, most of the time you'll be missing because yeah. it just does not do anything. Uh, Elto can also combo at this percent, especially if uh, Ace were to do a falling uh, forward air. It, and he catches Ooh. obelisk off guard they're trading on these uh, nares a lot yeah if he can he's catch up if he can catch obelisk off guard, well he's definitely out of percent now but around the 70 to 75 80 percent range just on most characters with corn if you do a falling uh, forward air you can convert that into a dragon shot and it'll actually kill pretty early around that percent that's pretty nice another thing this character has like he has a lot of weird cheese stuff because like with the charging of the s master box you can actually uh catch someone on shield with that that oh, all right, well, that was a nice call out. Caught that, the spot dodge. Yeah, he has that. Oh, and the back air. Yeah, that back air is still very pretty strong. big and pretty big. Yeah, so he's gonna have to. He has another. Still has a chance here. Yeah, actually catches obelisk on here. If there's one thing Corn is good at though, it's always catching air dodges and then catching uh, risk options because Corn has a lot of good things like neutral air. You can knock someone up into the air. They air dodge. Okay, throw another neutral air or throw another up air. Like Corn in general is just really good oh. at like, catching like um, very high pressure options or like oh crap, I need to air dodge like right here right now. But uh, Belmonts are not someone that can even come close to doing those options. Yeah. Oh god. Oh, she gets out of the situation. Still alive. Yeah. So much damage to his name though. He's gonna have to figure out. Yeah, Corn uh, is Corn is basically gonna need to find a way to kill Obelisk for these like he does these burst options and oh god, that's oh. a big opportunity. Here he has it. Back throw. Yeah. Uh right now Ed, the ledge. Right now, Ants is at a death percent for uh back to a back throw right now though. Oh that almost worked! Oh this is scary. 
the ne the gimmer tech he actually footstooled off of that back air and the oh the tipper of the <laughs> whip killing at and that's gonna take the set for obelisk yeah it's pretty much uh curtains there that's why it was so unfortunate and um i like how we saw no cinematic final kill either no yeah that's kind of weird i mean that looked like maybe he was trying to drift back with the uh, dragon shot, and that's what got him. Probably. 